bitches. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I challenged myself because I thought it'd be kind of fun um, to build an altar um, for under $20 because I think that a lot of witches, especially new witches, um, really kind of get focused on or like freaked out by like how much everything costs. Because you know, you can go to any witch store and you can see all these beautiful trinkets and stuff um, for like 40, 50, plus dollars and um sometimes i feel like that's a little bit inaccessible now to be a witch you don't you absolutely <laughs> do not have to like um have an altar at all i know a lot of witches who don't they just you know use a journal or perhaps have one in the astral plane that they work like they have like an o their own reality where they work um on an astral level with their deities and stuff which is like very cool um but I am a very material person. I like having things and I love altars. I think they're so pretty and awesome. So um, I challenged myself to keep it under $20. And I also like added the additional challenge of having like certain items. So I wanted to find um, like a couple candle holders, a shelf to put everything on, um, a, a couple candles, um, a dish or like offering bowl, and at least one like trinket. So I, I think I found all of them um, and I'm gonna show you guys the final setup because it looks really cool. I'm going to show you what I got. Um, I went to Goodwill today, like earlier. Um, so yeah, I just got out of the shower. Hello. It's Saturday. I feel a lot better after it's day two of me having the first COVID vaccine. I felt like garbage yesterday, but I feel so much better. Ah. But anyways, let's get started. So the first thing I got were these two um, like glass candle holders. Oh my gosh, there's a gnat in here because we brought some plants inside. So I'm super sorry if you see one flying by. So these are just like basic little candle holders for pillar candles. Um, and I thought they were nice and simple. There were some like bigger ornate ones and I just like, I don't know. I just, I wanted a smaller set. So you'll see why in a second, but um, yeah. Candle uh, or candlestick holders. And those were 99 cents. So I'll tally everything up. I think it came out to like, 15 or 16 dollars like something like that so it was actually like super under budget got this like dish thing i think it was like an ice cream dish i don't know it it probably was i feel like this was a sunday thing but when i saw it i thought it would be like a cool um i don't know if um, maybe like an incense burner or like somewhere i can put like herbs or crystals to charge because it's clear and glass and like moonlight can come through it so every side of like the objects that you're putting in it, if you're bathing it under moonlight, will be hit by the rays. Oh, the next thing I found, um, oh, this was also, this was 99 cents, so yeah. Um, the next thing I found was this like really creepy jar and I just really like it. I don't think it's actually gonna go on the altar. I kind of bought it for this, which again, I will make a video on later, um, I promise. But this was also 99 cents. So glassware, if you're looking for jars, don't like, you don't necessarily have to go to like a store, like, um, I don't know, like a grocery store or something. You can find like cool, creepy stuff like at thrift stores for literally a dollar. I got, um, I found this and it's like, it's potpourri, it's botanical potpourri. Um, this was 99 cents. I, it's probably super old, but I thought the flowers were really pretty. So I'm gonna take that and put it into the little like dish thing that I have for just like for now, mostly for this video, but um, Potpourri is a cool way to accessorize your altars and to have like that plant element to things, I think. People kind of overlook it sometimes because you know, you see it and you're like, oh, it's like mass marketed, but it's it's kind of cool and it's pretty to look at. So yeah. Um, okay, so the next thing I had, I think these are originally from Target um, and they were, I think the most expensive thing. I spent $4 on this guys, four whole dollars. Everything else has been 99 cents. So that brings our total up to um, $7, eight if you count the little jar. But I got these two cool like green candles. I really liked the color of them and they were, you know, I like symmetry. So if I can find two of something, I'm gonna try to find it. Um, but yeah, I just, I liked the color. They're unused, so, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> this thing I got, this is so weird. This is such a weird thing. It was obviously like put together by people who worked there, but again, it was 90, it was $1.99. <laughs> oh my God. So they had these two black flameless candles and they are so creepy looking. Oh, I wonder if they work. I have no idea, but either way. Oh, okay. I think you can put batteries in them. Yeah, they don't have batteries, but I'm gonna put batteries in and see if they work. Um, these are so cool. So, okay, so I wanted to, I got these specifically like to talk about the fact that flameless candles are super useful in witchcraft. Like um, if you, especially if you're in a place where you can't have candles or like you don't wanna like catch a, 
catch fire or you're like worried about it, these kind of can be, you know, they can set that atmosphere and really get you into that working space. And oh, yes, guys, it works. Yes. So yeah, so they, these look so much creepier. I didn't realize they had like the drippies on them, but they're super cool. So like my goth heart is very happy. <laughs> this is a set of candlestick holders and a wax like snuffer, which is cool. I've actually been looking for one um, and I've been like eyeing some really creepy Victorian ones, but this is like also kind of cool. Oh, and it's like old, okay. It's like patinaed. <laughs> um, so yeah, now that I look nice and evil. Okay, these are really interesting. Oh my gosh, okay. So I really like when metal and like silver has like patina on this, like it looks kind of like creepy and old. So I'm excited about that. And there's two of them in here with a candle snuffer. Now I know that doesn't really, okay, that doesn't fit in there, Never mind. But I have many things that I can put in here, like actual candlesticks. Yeah, and they look like really cool. Um, I'm, I might polish these up. I might not. I'm, I'm going to see how they look. But like that is honestly, this brings a whole vibe to the entire altar, I think. So um, that was like a really happy surprise. And I'm really glad I got it on camera because that was like 100% genuine. I'm very excited. Um, this is what it's supposed to look like, but it's not 1983 anymore. So I guess... So the second to last thing, oh yeah, I forgot to say how much that was. Um, this was $2, this set of candle, like metal candlesticks, uh, $2. The next thing I got, and I'm definitely gonna be cleaning this out, um, is this bell. Um, now I know this is like a weird, like I don't really use a bell in my practice, but it's always something I've wanted when it is super dirty. Um, but I'm gonna clean it off. And um, yeah, I, I wanted to get a bell. And I thought, I couldn't find anything that didn't say like 25th anniversary or whatever on it, but I found this like little glass one for 99 cents. And um, once I give it a nice polish, like clean it off, I think it'll be like very usable and very good. Okay, so the final part guys, we have all of the other elements, but then you ask, what about the altar? Well, let me tell you, I found this which is very basic and very simple, but it, sh it has enough room for everything to sit on it. Um, so it has like room for everything to sit on it. It's gonna be pretty heavy, but I'm gonna have um, my boyfriend go attach this to the wall and I'll show you guys the final setup. <laughs> so ignore the music in the background there is a brewery that's opening we think like downstairs down the street and they have like all this live music and there's a bunch of people and I'm just nervous but um anyways I did finish this I wanted to show you guys you can see I added two white candles um just to make it look complete you can see my hand in the reflection um but yeah and they just look so creepy and cool. Anyways, um, I, I like the bell in the middle like this. I thought it looked kind of like a specimen jar or something where like the little gold thing in the middle is like a ancient magical artifact. I don't know, I'm being funny, but um, put the candles here and then the candle snuffer, like I think it looks really nice like that. Okay, so I hope you guys like this altar as much as I do. And if you do, I um, actually am thinking about um, giving it away um on my patreon so as soon as i hit like 50 patrons um i will give this i will do a random drawing and i will send everything here to somebody who is a patron so um if you haven't checked out my patreon already go ahead and check it out and you could get this i don't know um but yeah i'll send it to you and um you can just have it if you want it so yeah take a quick look and check out my patreon i'll see you guys tomorrow bye